Hey guys, Steve Chase here. So what exactly can you customize in the dashboard? Well, unfortunately, not much. Uh, one of the things you can do is change the order of the bank account. So I'll share with you that. Right hey guys, Steve here. Chase here. I'm going to talk about we'll how to convert on the some customers to a project. And then imagine right, you so wanted the first to thing have, is, let's imagine just say, you know uh, about projects checking, already. One, two, three, four, five, if you don't, top, just drag uh, it projects up. Projects allow you to Okay, let's imagine Generate and see a, a you want profit and loss down per that's allocated how project. This works. Okay. So you hit save. So let's imagine though you can do that. that you've got okay. um, a non-project you, you want to bring in here. So for example, the date ranges of the profit and loss. So if you want to just show you a quick this uh, month. report here. And there we go. Called profit Same and thing loss with expenses customer. this month. All income right. set for last so month. If I open up um, this yeah, it's invoice. just too bad. Here. I wish we, we had more options got an invoice this, for seven thousand dollars. You can hide things. And it's to the customer see. seven lucky stars. This okay. uh, pr project profit and is um, going to show thing up we've got going on here. So we've got a couple of online so transactions really here. Really, not a whole lot, unfortunately. So we've got there this more uh, I could share with you. And that is a feature of many people want. So and notice that we always got go to uh, provide this end user licenses right here. But the gear is, icon and click feedback it has this customer yeah, project. Get here, you just okay. say please. So we've got seven lucky Let stars here as the customer. More. So with the, the way this is going to work, and we have to do a little me. manipulation. A lot of uh, folks are asking this particular which you customer part here called Seven Lucky Stars. And, uh, we need to make it awesome. a sub customer. If they okay. gave us more tools on so the dashboard, so we're going to need to get a little crafty here with here. Okay. With yes, the thanks actual, for watching. See you on the next uh, video. Conversion to make this a project. How to do that? Okay. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to think of a name. So. Um, Seven Lucky Stars, maybe Seven Lucky Stars LLC might be might be the name here. So let me just create a quick paint uh, paint here and just kind of kind of talk about here. So this is our main customer here. Okay, so that is a customer, C for customer. And we've already got billing to them, and we've got invoicing billing going on, and purchase orders, all that linked to it. And we want this to be a project. Okay, so in order for this to equal a project, what we need to do is create a new customer up here. Give it the name like... Seven Lucky Stars LLC. The point is, you can come up with whatever name you want, and we're going to make this underneath of it come from here. So, so basically, now we're going to have an opportunity to leave everything exactly the same except create a seven lucky stars LLC which will serve as the parent customer and then this will now be considered the sub customer of that all right let's let's look at this in action step by step okay so step one I'm gonna go to my customer list and I'm going to create a new customer and the company name will just call it seven Lucky Stars LLC. All right. And the whole point of that is just to have a placeholder. Okay. So we're going to hit save. All right. So now I can see here's my seven lucky stars. Here's this. Okay. I'm going to open up seven lucky stars here. I can start to see all my invoices i don't see expenses or you know bills or po's to that and that's typical because this is these are customers i'm going to click edit and then i'm going to come down and i'm going to look at this button right here it says is sub customer so i definitely need to make that a check mark and when we do we can make the parent customer seven lucky stars llc and bill with parent is important that you do that. Okay, so hit save. All right, 
Excellent. So the next step is how can I get that to be a project? So I go to projects. There's going to be a drop down right here. Convert from sub customer. So I'm going to click that. Click on that. And I can see right here this option right here. Okay. And it's going to give us an option of what we're going to move. So we're going to move over one estimate, three invoices, and two payments. And so it's going to go, okay. And so here we, we're picking up on it. And we can make the uh, in progress. If, if I was done with the project, you know, maybe I'm moving a whole bunch and some are done, I could complete it. Market complete, I should say. I'll leave it open in progress. And I'm going to click convert. Ready to convert? We're going to change one of your sub customers to projects. This is a one time conversion. Click OK or click continue. Let it do its magic here. Yes. And now I can start to see. Here we go. So I'm going to dig into it. I'm now going to see under transactions, I'm going to see. Um, you know, perhaps I want to just see the expenses applied to it. There's one right there. I could see some bills. I can sort by this, but this is awesome. I did it. So I can um, go in and click edit. I'll need to assign the start date. So the first estimate was on 4 1. I'll just go in, manually put April 1st here. It's in progress, so no end date here. I might put a note that says converted. From sub customer, possibly do that. Um, I can do that. Time activity, project reports, project profitability, and here we are. And then don't forget, cash and accrual methods are going to come in from the accounting software model there. Awesome. So, hey guys, I hope this was super helpful to you. And you now know how to convert uh, customers to projects. Got to use the sub-customer trick to do that. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video.